Are you having problems using plug and play in Windows 7 with some older devices? Well, this is Paul, one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today I'm going to show you how to add a legacy device in Windows 7 without using plug and play. Let's get started. All right, to start out with, we want to click on the start button in the lower left hand corner. We want to find computer, and we want to right click on that and select properties. Then we want to click on device manager. All right, now this is the, the default view of device manager where it shows the computer and all the devices attached to it. We want to see this list in the, the more compact view, so go ahead and click on that so that just shows the computer name. Then we want to go to action and add legacy hardware. All right, click on next. We usually you want to search for and install the hardware automatically. But if, obviously, if that doesn't work out, you're going to have to manually select it from a list. But you always want to try the first one. Windows did not automatically detect a, a new device, so it, now it wants you to specify the type of hardware that you're trying to add and hit next. We're just going to hit next. Now, so here you want to choose the type of device that you're trying to add. Then you would just hit next. And it will build a list. You would choose the manufacturer and then the model. And then hit next. And then Windows will load that device for you. Alright, that is how you would go in and add a legacy device to Windows 7. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.